All right. Here I am on the East Court Street Railroad Crossing number one in Burton, Michigan. Now, once again, this is another crossing that I did tour in the past about like five years ago. But uh, ever since then, that video was kind of crappy. I didn't really have the correct information down. And ever since I've been there, been, last been here to tour this crossing, a bunch of things have changed. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you guys a good retour. And also, down there is East Court Street number two, owned by uh, the LSRC and CSX Saginaw subdivision. But I did a crossing tour on that not too long ago, or a few years ago, actually. But nothing much has changed down there but this crossing I'm gonna retour for you guys today so this is so this crossing is owned by the CN Flint subdivision and it's right next to the Kersley Diamond as you can see down there which is pretty cool so yeah I guess with that said let's go ahead and get on to it so for the first signal this has a WRS cantilever with a Union Metal base and here's the emergency information the dot tag for this crossing the dot number is 283797L and if you look up here there's an old Grand Trunk Western dot tag with the same number but yeah and then for the lights for the mass lights this has two pairs of Safetran 12 by 24 inch dialite leds sitting on a Safetran light bracket as you see and these have been here for a while i can tell from the fading of the light heads and for the gate mechanism this has a usns model 95 gate mechanism sitting on a uh, Safetran base yeah this has been here ever since i was last year and also this features rico led gate lights and a wing guard and then uh, for the overhead lights, this has two pairs of Satran 12 by 24 inch uh, GE uniform LEDs sitting on what I believe is another Satran light, nope, WRS light bracket. Yep, sitting on a WRS light bracket. Now, back when I was here, back in 2019, this crossing's overhead lights used to be them Western Cold and Haze first generation 12 by 20 inch LEDs with the clear lenses, but in 2019, they replaced them with these GE uniform LEDs, like what they did to Center Road around the same time. And then for the bell on this signal, this has a low pitch Siemens electronic bell, which in which I believe uh, General Signals Type 2 used to be here. But yeah, and also I think way back then in the Grand Trunk Western days, this crossing used to have a WRS 8 inch lights and whatnot. Obviously those are gone now, long gone. And they got all replaced the LEDs. So let's go. So with that first signal down, let's go ahead and go over to the next signal. As soon as I wait for this uh, traffic to clear. So, Whew. all right, I made it to the other side. So, here is the next signal, which is similar to the first. This has another WRS cantilever with another Union Metal base. And here's the emergency information, the dot number once again for this crossing. And uh, for the mass lights, this has two more pairs of Satran 12 by 24 inch dilate LEDs sitting on a Satran light bracket. As you can see, and then for the gate mechanism, this has another USNS Model 95 gate mechanism sitting on the same trans base and featuring some more Rico LED gate lights and a wing guard. And then uh, for the overhead lights, once again, this has two more pairs of same trans 12 by 24 inch GE uniform LED sitting on a WRS light bracket. Once again, replacing some more Western Cold and Haze first gen LEDs in, back in 2019. And then for the bell, this has a General Signals Type 2 electronic bell. Now, one thing for sure, though, they did replace the mast on this gate mechanism because it used to be sitting right here above the gate mechanism, but now it's sitting a lot taller, so they pretty much replaced the mast. But, yeah, that right there is the East Court Street number 1 crossing toward. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the track view. So, down there is heading right towards the Kersley Diamond. You can see the uh, current signals right there. And back, in, back up until 2013, this uh, the signals guarding the diamond used to be old, old GRS uh, approach list signals, but they were placed to these uh, uh, Satran uh, LED Vader signals back in that day. And you can see the Saginaw portion of it in East Core Street number two or, you know, the CSX sub, Saginaw sub crosses. And down there is heading towards Center Road, Genesee Road, and some other cross that you can see where the track curves around the factory. And if you see in front of you, you can see a set of defect detectors, which is pretty neat. Sitting at milepost 222, I think that's what it is. I can't see it from here, the sun's in my eyes, but yeah, and you can see the uh, relay case right here and also the case for the defect detectors. It's kind of cool. I might have to listen to the audio sometime, but I need a scanner first, but yeah. So yeah, with that said, there is a cleared signal for a train on Genesee Road, so there might be one soon, so I gotta hurry up and end this. So this right here is the East Court Street number one uh, to retour for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and enjoyed the changes and whatnot. But with that said, over and out.